Hey everybody, welcome back to Legend of Grimrock. I am your host, Zombie. And uh, we're gonna look for secrets, secrets, and possibly uh, the solution to why we all exist. All right, well, um, actually we wanna go down here because we wanna toggle this. So last time we've been, um, we, we were basically just chilling. Uh, well, no, we got a, basically one of those power things from here and then I think, uh, I think he was talking shit to us before these letters. Oh. What's going on? So why do we have this? Why does it go around? This makes no sense to me. Okay, it doesn't matter to me. We already got what we, well actually there we didn't get what was in there. There is still some stuff we're missing. And it's shooting fireballs at me. Well there's a there's a gate thing right here we can see and then there's like some some way to open up there um, so there's some way to get up here uh, let's have a look at the walls here first because that is the only place I can see that I haven't really been to uh, so it would it would stand to reason that there's some way for me to get over there because I don't see another route to get up there so I'm just gonna look at all these buttons and yeah okay there's nothing here uh, because we're starting to reach the end of this section here. Uh, I still have, uh, I have some evasion gloves. Oh, right, these evasion gloves. Uh, but, uh, sorry, what was I gonna say? Yeah, we're, re we're reaching the end of the section because I technically only need one more power gem. And I don't really know where it is. I kind of forget. Okay, let's go down here. Okay, well, there's, um, there's a lever up there. I think that I'm supposed to teleport there, to be honest. So there's probably a button here somewhere. Or with the fireballs, you know, pick one. I might do a fire shield. There we go. This will protect us against evil fires. I'll just have another one at the ready. Basically just have to think long and hard about our, our relationship with the uh, fire here. Okay, I'm, I'm fairly certain that it has nothing to do with whatever's down here. Yeah, there we go, see? This is why we have a fire shield. Alright. Yeah. Okay, just do another one. It's gonna hit me again. Uh, just kind of looking at the walls here. Oh, there we go. But there's only one portal left here. Okay, we turned off these ones. So it's it's no longer going to be a, basically a threat to me anymore. Uh, Kant has no energy regeneration, but not like he ever uses it, so who gives a shit? Oh, and here's another button. Oh, there you go. Oh, you have to be fast. So, you know, I was right this whole time. I always bet on Mike Lab. That's how it works. All right. Let's not get killed by that. All right, so we got to go. Look at that. Yeah, you have to go you have to you have to go back on it. And we have the Ice Guardian figurine and a crystal helmet. Protection and health and it's a heavy armor related item. So, do I want strength or do I want health? That's the question. I think I, I think I got enough, uh, to be honest, I think I have, well, you know, that's a, this is a tough one, actually, because this is light armor, this can technically go to Pat, but Pat already has his own armor, uh, but I like the amount of protection this serves, so you know what, we're gonna, we're gonna take the protection just to make him more tanky, and I'll keep the bone helm on me just for now, um, just because I'm, I'm, I'm a person, and I think this is where the ice figurine goes, from icicles beneath I struck at the, I mean, it's ice related. Okay, <laughs> so I was right. And we got the Tome of Water, which is Resist Cold. Uh, I don't know who to give this to. I guess I'll give it to myself. Re realistically, it should probably be someone in the front here. Like, Pat could maybe use it. Ah, you eject. I don't know, uh, it's a tough one, because who's gonna... I, like, I've been giving the Tomes, I think, to myself uh, a whole lot, which wasn't exactly a good idea. Because I don't really need it. Uh, but 
Because, like, already as it is, I'm going to gain resist shock. Well, you know. Uh, let's, see, let's see. How much health do I have? Let's see. I have a uh, 113 health, and yeah, I have the lowest health. So I think I think a defense like this would be the best uh, suited on myself. All right, we we solved that uh, riddle um, or whatever. It's not really a riddle. Oh, we also have that the skeleton key. Oh, we were here before. The silver scepter of wish whatever or something. All right, we're gonna save before we hop into here. Note. Where there is nowhere to hide from the sunlight, the loneliest all the trees reside. The missing limb will point you in the right direction. Just walk as far... Oh my god, it's another treasure puzzle guy. This one's pretty ridiculous, actually. I have a lot of these bags. Apparently I can put uh, all of Can's ingredients in here, and then it'll just auto-stack. Or so I hear. This is apparently what I should be doing. Um, uh, it's, it's someone keeps yelling at me and telling me that that like the, it, when there's no space, it'll auto stack then. All right, so let's let's have a look at that note again. Okay, this is one puzzle. Okay, this is just some some useless piece of shit. I have a lot of bags for stuff. Probably uh, Jack Witchell should take some of this. A serpent staff. This is useless. I remember this before. I'll put some of this gear that I don't need away. Like, I'll put, like, the clothing and stuff away. Because the thing is, um, Jack does not give a shit about being overburdened. He really doesn't. He is like, your feeble attempts to overburden me will fail. And then, I don't know, probably does something badass, but I've never seen him do anything badass in his entire life. I guess this is just, like, this, the gear. Alright. So there you go. Organization. My OCD. Look at this, look at this. I'm even going to organize the bags. Are you guys proud of me? Look at this. Look at this shit. And then, I don't know, Kant can just have the stuff like that. I don't give a fuck about Kant. I don't give a fuck about me, either. Alright, we got a shovel. So that one is fairly obvious on what the what we're supposed to do. It's basically a... It's a riddle. Let's see. Uh, so we know there's a fountain with an oak by its side. Uh, we know, I think I, I think I have an idea where that is, but where there is nowhere to hide from the sunlight, so it's like the desert. The loneliest of all trees resides. A missing limb will point you to the right direction. So the sun doesn't really go up in the cemetery, so th that isn't the place it wants to be. Uh, we also haven't done that puzzle right here. This is the last one I think on this level. Oh, and there's also something up here. What the hell is up there? Well, let's have a look, because I don't remember. There must be some reason why I didn't go there. Oh, this is a... A room. You guys like that, right? Rooms? I'm just going to refresh my, uh, my spell here. Alright. Well, there's something over here. Maybe I just never went over here. Oh, I see. There's a... Oh, that's right. Okay, I did go here. So uh, that's why I don't see that. Because it's like... um, It was a room full of uh, goodies. But I decided that the goodies weren't good enough for me. And I loaded. I really still think they're not. Despite what you may think. Alright, then we're going back to that last puzzle with the buttons. I have an idea where that fountain treasure is, but not really where that uh, other stuff is. Uh, yeah, we're going... Actually, no, we're not really going to that, are we? We have to go this way. Damn. We gotta go up. Because the, the crystal's ab above. Yeah, there's that mace that we didn't like. Okay. So, um... Well, there is something else we can try. I think I was on the right track with the, the candles from last time. I basically said, I think that the candles has something to do with it. But I did it from this side. And let's try it from this side. Or, you know, there's some items here. Maybe, maybe it's telling me I'm supposed to put some things on this. 
in the same manner. So let's let's give that a try. So we're gonna try that first. Because we see items on the other side like that. You see, there's a, one over there, there's nothing over here, and there's the last item. There you go. Okay, that was it. You know, I just needed, you know, a fresh, a fresh insight into that. So here we have, we have a crossbow, interestingly enough, and I, I heard the door close. Missile weapons we don't use, so unfortunately I'm going to leave it there. The bombs, I guess, can come in handy. Uh, yeah, you can have that. I, I do like those bombs, so we'll put just a rock there in, to replace it. What's this? This is just a helm. It's useless to me. Alright. Wow. Okay, this is... This is one of the more useless uh, things I've ever seen. Okay, we can just remove that. Alright, I think that pretty much does it for this place, actually. Um, but I'm gonna have to go back up onto the top uh, area, and... Uh, yeah, we're, we're basically done with the crypt. But we're gonna have to go back to the top area, and we're gonna have to have a look around, because... Uh, we're still technically missing one more power gem. And I realized there was gloves on the ground, and I'm, I'm, I picked those up in an earlier episode, and I decided not to have them. To be honest, most of the gear at this point, since this is an open world game, uh, most of this is useless to me, because it's just like, um, you would have picked up something better by now, basically. I think I think once we get, we finish these uh, like little power crystal things, I think we'll be in much better shape. But yes, finally we see the light of day. Fuck, there's more zombies? Move. Yeah. So it confuses me when he makes noises. Come on, move ahead. And he critted. Oh my god, there's another one. It's like they were, they were like all waiting for me here. Go. Yeah, whenever I move forward, Jack gets hit. Start my life. Okay, are we done? Are we done with the zombies? Thank you very much, sir. So it's that's a really odd puzzle where the sun cannot. I don't know. I I I might actually look that one up anyways. Uh, there's something over here we haven't done. I marked it for myself. There from before. Alright, we have some things over here. Let's have also have a look here. Oh yeah, these are the, the small little portals here. We just, we, we already solved this puzzle so we can go across. Uh, actually, let's see what this is. Oh, uh, Nameless, refuse to die. Oh, well, I totally didn't like uh, loot this guy's grave. Where did I put my shovel? There. Uh, whatever. Um, what I'm really looting here is experience. That gun is really running out of ammunition fast. Alright. We got that guy. Alright, and then we have, I think, it's actually technically this way. Yeah, down there is nothing. Well, actually, no, no, no. One second, one second. Well, first of all, let's have a look over here. Well, there's a shovel here. Actually, does this stand to reason that there's something to shovel here? I don't know, because we saw a shovel here. No. So someone someone was wondering if the bones had something to do with that, like the, the shoveling stuff. Like, if that's a place to, for me to shovel. But I don't think it really does have anything to do with that. Okay, it's just graves, this area. This entire area sucks. Sure, what's over here? No, nothing. Yeah, this area kind of sucks. Uh, Alright, we also have... We have a force field there. Oh yeah, that's right. I marked it because I didn't know what it was. Okay, that's why. That's why I marked it. Okay, I forgot to remove the marking when I, uh, when I originally came out of there. But that was basically a signification that... Uh, 
Um, there was an area I couldn't access, but I actually have to access it from the outside. All right. Uh, we also have here this uh, puzzle guy. See, this turns on for just a second. What is behind there is just, um, there's some buttons right there, I think. But I think that's what spawned all those enemies. Um, there's nothing here. Like, we want to open this up. Because there's a, still like a, a crypt or something that, that should have, uh, I don't know. There's also something up here. What is this? Oh, no, yeah, that's that button puzzle, actually. I remember that. Well, so, well like it, it was the moving the, the small platforms around. And I remember that. So it's really just a matter of what the hell is in this room. So there's like these, there's these portals, but they're all locked behind gates, which is really odd. And then these things open up. So like, what I'm thinking is that these gates are some, supposed to open up. And I keep hearing a, a noise once in a while. I thought maybe the positioning of when I was looking at it had something to do with it, but it doesn't. Because it stands to reason that I have to throw them. Uh, but the problem I'm having right now is I have no idea how to open those gates. So I'm seeing if this pit has anything uh, useful. Because if I throw anything at those those gates, well, it's nothing's going to work. Okay, that isn't the solution here. Let's have a look. Yeah, cause it, see, I can't place anything on these buttons. Maybe if I... I don't, yeah, see, it just goes really fast. Oh! Wow. I understand this now. Okay. in some random order. Okay, that makes sense. And I have to throw them all, but if... Here's the thing, I, I notice that they reset when I step onto the button. Did it. Okay, that's not as hard as I thought it would be, but it, it's random. So they reset when, when I step on the button, so that's not good. Uh, but yeah. Okay, so we, we solved that in relatively good time, so that, that's nice. Uh, what kind of secrets does this hold? Oh! It was you all along, Pots. You were behind it all. And... Oh, zombie. Oh, yeah, it's did the mean thing, which, uh, it spawned another one. Oops. Apparently, I totally didn't spawn in the right place. Whatever, Jack, Jack can take the fucking beating. They don't seem to dodge nearly enough. Oh wow, it spawned way more than I thought. Oh wow. Just like zombies from everywhere. See, that, that zombie's Canadian. This zombie's from New Zealand. And, uh... The ones I fought from before were from, uh... From the UK and from, uh, Sweden. You see? We, this is multicultural zombies. They're very all-accepting here of other cultures. And their zombie. They, they all eat your brains in different ways. Sure, and the Canadian one wants to put maple syrup all over your brain and, uh... I don't know. Something like that. So apparently this will continue to stack. Apparently, even though there's not there's enough uh, there's not enough room in the bag. That's what I hear. Um, I don't know what's indi I'll, I'll indicate it based upon the other weed how the other weed works. So if this is still forty one and one, in like I don't know when I remember again, then we'll know that doesn't work. And now we have uh, more carrying capacity on Jack. Um, Ron, Ron R. Riddle, Hallowed Woods of the 
Aaron, Aaron claimed another victim. Remaining puzzles designed by him were lost in the burned library of Ormond. Okay. Well, let's dig up his grave. Oh, neat. Oh, there's a skull for Jack. Look at that. He almost has, like, like all the skulls ever. You could say he's, uh... I don't know. I, I was gonna think of some shit joke. But I, I couldn't. I stopped. Alright, oh, we got a recipe here. Uh, Necromancer's Potion. Two Black Moss. Oh! No shit, huh? What does that do? What the fuck? Uh, it's a Potion of Resurrection. That's Black Moss, right? Yeah. Oh man, fuck bombs. I'm gonna make these for now on. I didn't actually know we could make those. Is there a thing for this? Okay, there isn't. Oops, I don't want to exit. I, I kind of, I'm, I'm enjoying this game. I don't want to exit. All right, let's give it a pause. So, okay, so now we have a way of making those res potions. Those are really good, but they're really expensive to make. Every night, the silent one sees something. Look where he looks and be patient. What do you mean the silent one? Who is the silent one? Wow, this is all we actually got here. I mean, most of this was pretty valuable, but... There's, we're supposed to have a place that, um... I don't know, we're supposed to have a, a place to... I think it might be referring to another head or something. Wait, 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 what does it say? Every night? Alright. Silent one. Oh, well, we've solved this guy. Now, we're still missing a single power gem. And... I don't know what else, actually, to be perfectly honest. Yeah, we've gotten literally everything here. That's just something else, like, behind there. But this is the part that confuses me, because I'm just kind of like, oh. Can doesn't need a potion of resurrection. That's probably going to go directly to Pat. Oh. Oh, oh okay. That's why. Obedient servant never spoke. Is that the silent one? Where does he look? I don't know, I'm just trying to sleep and see, uh... I don't know if it's something like this. It's like every night. Or is this way? Pat is starving. Uh, well, let's give, give him some food. Apparently there's something to do with the, by the way, the way the food, um, um, so people's favorite food, uh, gives them points, which is why cheese got canned, uh, an additional point in dexterity. Um, it does a random stat, which is an interesting mechanic. I didn't know about it. I don't know what Pat's favorite food is. He's a lizard, though. We got nothing here. Come on, zombie. I'm actually surprised that nothing attacked me while I was there. Wow, everything missed. Except for me, because I'm reliable as fuck. I don't know what knockback even does. I've never seen it work. Oh. Oh, can gain willpower plus one. Ah, uh, that's because uh, he gets random stats. I think I was giving him, uh, giving him accuracy, so let's continue on that route. He learned how to reach. Good man. 
Which is actually a really nice stat if you want to just have an entire like group of uh, melee warriors or something, you know. Melee, melee, whatever. Um, well, I'm at a loss at this point, guys. I'm not going to lie. Um, I mean, we have some riddles. We have some treasure to potentially get. We also have that island in the middle. Um, well, you know what? Let's try the island there, actually. Let's go back there. Would there be a power gem there? I don't know. Because it's like it's really fucked up because I'm missing one and I don't know where it is. Uh, so let's go back there momentarily while I think about it before I start going on the internet and God, like, how did we do puzzle games before the internet, guys? I have no idea. Maybe I'll actually fix Kant's pants for a change. He now has good pants. Now, my assumption right now is that this place is... Oh, oh, this is one of the temples. Okay, so there's one in the necromancy place. But there is one there. Oh, look where he looks. Yeah, let's just, uh, we'll just wait. Oh, there we go. Well, that solves that. Huh. <laughs> Disappeared into the temple here. All right, we now know how to get across that. Interesting. Okay. Oh, and there's this hammer here. Uh, a venom fang pick. As far as light weapons. Oh, there's also a light weapons earth magic one bite. So it's a cool weapon, but I think it's uh, more for battle mage, which is a bit odd. A battle mage would do like earth magic and light weapons one kind of stuff. So we'll just leave it here. Oh, we have we also have something go down here too. So I'm just having a look around, guys. Just give me a sec. Okay, there's this item here that I can't get to. Um, but there's also this crap. Scroll of frost shield. Yeah, that was, um, that's a pretty simple one. Let me go get another bag. God damn it, can't. We don't need this many bags. I just, I just like having the scrolls. They're a reminder to me that I am forever the greatest. Okay. So we know, we know, we now know, for, well, I might as well try it. I don't have the skills for that, actually. What, what does it require? Where is it? Roll shock shield. Frost shield. Requires water magic one, concentration three. We have concentration, it's just water magic we haven't done anything with, really, I think. Now, concentration is three, and I left it there, and water magic would have to be two more, so I'm not willing to really do that. Alright, so I'm pretty sure this is the exact same thing. Yeah, bring forth the four, four elements of, uh, whatever. Uh, well, I think we're basically good here. I guess we'll, uh, have a look at the sneak peek for next episode, then. That, that's kind of a neat puzzle, though. I'm glad I did figure it out eventually on my own. But, really? Okay. Next level, it's all underwater, so... Oh, whoops. Yeah, next level it's all underwater, so I'll see you guys next time. Bye.